three tips to view properties like a realtor does. Sinkholes, leaking roofs, mold, waterlogged basements, foundation issues, oh my. What does it look like, how to spot it, and how much would it cost to fix? Tune your eyes up and perk up your listening ears because this week we're sending you to Realtor Bootcamp so that you can view properties like a realtor does. If we haven't met before, my name is Lucy Hood and I'm a top producing realtor here in East Tennessee. It's my mission to help you build wealth and understanding through real estate right here in the Smokies. Smell. If there's a musty or strange smell in the house, try to find the source of it. Mold can be one of the priciest and most detrimental things to spot. Your home inspector should be able to find any mold if it exists, but rather than going through all the hassle first, try to find it when you're at your showing. The source. Mold likes to grow in unventilated, warm, moist areas like the basement or under plumbing. Mold mitigation can range anywhere from $1,500 to $7,500 and even more, depending on the extent of the damage and how long it's gone unnoticed. Grading. I'm not talking about a score. I'm talking about the dirt around the house. In Tennessee, the building code states that you should have three inches of fall for every six feet of run. For every six feet away from the home's exterior wall, the dirt should be three inches lower. If you have a negative grade, this could spell out some major foundation and mold issues down the way. You always want water to run away from your home, not towards it. Roof. A roof's average lifespan is 20 to 30 years, depending on the material type. An easy way to tell how old a roof is is by looking at the streaking on the roof, like this. Also, if the shingles are still nice and firm, that's a good sign that it's still a young roof. As shingles age, they have a tendency of losing the rock granules that are on them and becoming more floppy. An entire roof costs $10,000 on average to replace, depending on the size of the home and the pitch or steepness of the roof. HVAC. Take a picture of the label of the HVAC or water heater or major appliance so that you can research them later. Most serial or model numbers contain the year they were manufactured. Knowing how old a unit is is important for knowing what type of freon it takes and general mechanics of the unit. Most HVACs live around 10 years. However, I've seen some older models and old as 30 years. A new HVAC system can cost anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000. And I highly recommend getting a biannual maintenance done where it's about $150 every time. Electrical. Electricians are not cheap and why is the price of gold in today's ever-growing construction market? Take a picture of the electrical panel and research the make and brand name. Some home insurances will not insure a home if it has a federal, federal Pacific electric panel. This company went out of business because their panels were prone to causing house fires. Whew. Replacing an electrical panel cost about $1,500 to $2,500 or sometimes more. Plumbing. Run the faucets, toilets, showers, and dishwasher and look for any leaks. Also, check the water source and whether it's on a septic or sewer. Septic tanks are most common here in East Tennessee. You'll want to get your septic pumped every five years or so. And if you're on a well, you'll want to get the well treated yearly if it doesn't have a water filtration system already in place. Pumping your septic tank should cost you between three and $500. A well filtration system costs around $2,500, and treating the well yearly cost about $300, and the average leak cost about $300 to repair. Now you're ready to view homes like a pro, but let's say you're looking to sell your home and make sure problems like this don't inhibit the value of your home. Stay tuned for next month's videos that are all about what homeowners in East Tennessee are doing to make sure that they sell their home for top dollar. Click the like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all things real estate in the Smokies. Or feel free to schedule your very own buyer consultation and I'll shop for you. 865-264-0517.